Hey guys, it's Jane again. I just wanted to um, share a new haul with you and uh, and then at the end give you some updates about some of the pieces that I had talked about in my last video. Um, this is a new haul that I made yesterday, um, a combination of two places that I visited um, over in Edgewater. <clears throat> There's a little thrift store that's connected to a church over there. I can't quite remember the name right now, but if I do, I'll I'll pop it in the description. But it's a little little thrift store that's connected to a church. It's only open a couple days a week. Um, and that was the first stop that I made. And then after that, the rest of the stuff that I got was from the Goodwill over there in Edgewater because they're only a couple minutes apart. So, um, I didn't grab as many things this time, just because I felt like there, it was a little slim pickings, but, um, I did get some good stuff, so let's, let's go over it. So, um, at the, the church thrift, it was, for whatever reason, it was kind of a brown theme of everything that I picked up, which I thought was funny, but, uh, the first thing that I picked up was this, uh, domed glass cheese board which is in nice condition there's no chips or cracks or anything like that um, the wood looks really good it doesn't look dried out or anything um, and it's from good wood um, it's genuine teak made in Thailand and I've never picked one of these up before but I do know that they sell I've seen them sell pretty good on eBay um, <clears throat> and Everything that I paid for at the, the church thrift was, it was a $4 total, which I believe I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I got five total pieces there, so uh, you do the math on that. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so for the, for the cheese board, that can go um, anywhere from $15 to $20 uh, usually, so I think that'll be nice. And somebody can use that for, you know, a party or get together or whatever they're whatever they want. Um, the next thing that I noticed, which unfortunately has a little bit of damage, but I just thought they were too cute to pass up, um, were these little owl salt and pepper shakers. You can see this one has a little bit of a chip uh, near his eye, but. It's not like it's not like a ceramic chip, it's more of a paint chip. So, I feel like, you know, I could probably try to doctor that up a little bit or or, you know, just leave it to the buyer to, you know, fix if they wish. But I I love owls. I I collect owls, so I couldn't leave those behind. Um those can typically go I think those are more of a modern version. Um, you can find vintage ones, but I think those are more modern. Um, and those can go for about six to eight. So not not a lot of money, but again, it doesn't really matter because I only paid four dollars total for everything that I bought. So that was fine. The next piece and last piece that I got from the church thrift was this beautiful. Um, inlaid wood picture and I kind of had a feeling about it I knew it was something because um, when I turned it over it I saw that it said Sorrento Italy in 1977 so you know obviously vintage and anything really from Italy I'm gonna look into because there, there's a lot of stuff that comes out of Italy that's good quality um, you know especially a lot of like porcelain and ceramic items hand-painted items, things like that. People really go for that kind of thing. And this one has a beautiful picture of a little sailboat going across, and then you can kind of see, like, the city behind, which I thought was a really nice scene. Especially, like, when I, when I look, for thing, look at things like this, I look at the subject matter, and I just feel like, because of the way this picture is, anybody that's into sailing would appreciate this. You know, so I feel like it'll definitely sell. 
and I was looking into these and um, I didn't find one that was exactly like mine, but they did have a few that were like a sailing picture and they can go for about $28. So I thought that was really nice. And you can see like all the different, I don't know if I can get the uh, camera, again the camera for whatever reason is fuzzy, but all the different types of wood and like the the tones of wood in there are really nice. There's no um, marks on there or chips or anything like that. So I think somebody will really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, so then next I went over to the Goodwill that's just a couple minutes away from the church thrift. Um, and the first thing I spotted, of course, were the Ray Dunn plates. They had a set of four there, but unfortunately one of them had some damage. So I just figured a set of two, <clears throat> excuse me, a set of two would do just fine. So um, I paid a dollar fifty for both of those, so three dollars total. And I was looking online, and a set of two can go for about twenty dollars. Um, so yeah, not bad. And I I don't particularly go for this this style, this Ray Dunn style. I know a lot of people do though; they go crazy for it. So um, I know like more recently the craze of it has died down a little bit. Um, but nevertheless, I know that they're still they're still popular enough to sell. So um, yeah, so about twenty dollars for those. And then the next thing I saw was this teapot, which got me pretty excited because I love, I love dragonflies. So I, at first I didn't notice that it was a dragonfly pattern, but then when I realized it, I was like, okay, well I have to buy this then because I also collect teapots. <laughs> so at this point, I'm sure you can tell that I'm a collector. So, um, yeah, so this doesn't have any kind of damage or anything. It's in really nice condition. Um, and it's got a little bit of crazing, so I could tell it was a little bit older. I did pay $6 for this. Um, whoop. I did pay $6 for that, but at the same time, like I said, I love dragonflies, so if nobody else wants to buy this, I have no problem keeping it. Um, and then let me peel the sticker so you can see the mark. One second. Okay, so, um, yeah, so that is a April Cornell piece uh, from 1999, and it's also made in Thailand. Um, and like I said, it does have some crazing, so that's how I could tell it had a little bit of age. Not terribly old, but, you know. Um, so, yeah, so I found that, and then... Later, when I was in the mug section, I came across the mug that goes with it. So that was pretty exciting. But the, again, the mugs typically go only for 50 cents. So I only paid 50 cents for the mug versus the six for the actual pot. So 650 total into that. No chips or cracks. The mug does have a little bit of wear on the inside. But um, <clears throat> that set... I didn't I couldn't find any exactly like it online, but I did see a few um April Cornell teapots being sold. And they can go for anywhere from like twenty five to thirty five dollars. Um I think the addition of the mug with the with the teapot will give me a little bit more profit. So but again, like I said, I, I don't have a problem if anybody doesn't want to buy it because I really enjoy it. So I will keep that if nobody bites. Um, <clears throat> so next up, um, we have these little salt and pepper shakers. Um, they look vintage, but I am 100% certain that they're not. I think they're reproductions. And the reason I say that is because, it they just, first of all, they just look way too brand new to be vintage. There's no... Um, there's no, like, fading of the glaze, there's no discoloration, there's no crazing, the stoppers look pretty much brand new, 
So I'm 100% certain that they're not vintage, but they look vintage. And I thought that they were really cute, <clears throat> and I think somebody else will too. Um, <clears throat> for these, I did pay up a little bit. I paid $6 for these. They did come in a little box, um, but, like, you know, I, I just liked them enough to where I felt like I could still make a little bit of money because if I like them that much, I feel like somebody else will too. Um, and I was looking online, and depending on where they're being sold, I saw, I saw them being sold on Walmart um, for $40.00 but they were out of stock, so, um, and then on eBay, they had, uh, what did they have on that? At, like, 25 to 30, so, yeah, anywhere from 25 to 40 dollars, um, somebody would pick these up, so I felt like that would still be a good profit, even though I paid the six, and I just love how they have these little flowers for hats, and they have that vintage look. I love the colors, the contrast of the pink and the blue and the yellow. That would be especially nice to sell for springtime. So we'll have to see. Um, next I saw this little cute uh, tooth trinket box, which wasn't much, you know what I mean? But I, I just thought it was adorable, and I couldn't pass it up. Um, it's from Gans. Uh, a well-known brand, and it's like a little, it's porcelain. I can kind of tell that it's porcelain because it's got, you know, porcelain has a certain feel to it and a certain sound to it. Um, and I just thought it was cute, you know, if somebody wanted to buy it to put their kid's baby teeth in or, or uh, you know, anytime a kid loses a tooth and they can say, okay, put it in the in the Tooth Fairy box and, you know, the Tooth Fairy will come bring you money or whatever. So I thought that would be cute for somebody. Um, and that one, again, that doesn't go for a whole lot, but um, I was looking and they go for about 7 to $9. And I only paid um, $0.25 cents for that, so no big deal. And then lastly are these gorgeous cat plates. And I'm going to put them front and center. One second. Okay, so um, <clears throat> these, the colors on these are breathtaking. I don't even think that the video can pick up how lovely these are. Um, but it's a set of three, and they're from this artist, um, Daphne Baxter. And this is from Franklin Mint, um, and they are fine porcelain, limited edition plates, and they're all from the same artist, and they've got the same subject matter. And I just thought, you know, and again, I don't pick up collector's plates, but the subject matter is what um, really drew me to these, as well as the coloring. I know that people that like cats love cats and, you know, they'll buy something like these. And I just feel like that darker cobalt blue against the contrasting white of the, the walls and the white of the cat really brings out the colors um, beautifully. So I paid $3 a piece for these and... As I said in my last video, $3 for something is a little bit steeper than I like to go. But I just could not leave these behind. Um, and I feel like, you know, I, I'm still kind of debating whether or not I want to sell these as a set together or, a, or separately. I feel like I might be able to make a little bit more money if I sold them individually. But they just go so well together and they look so nice together that I might just throw them in one listing. I was looking online and uh, they sell for around uh, 13 to $15 a piece. But if I put them all together in one listing, what I might do is list them a little bit higher and then uh, take offers and see, see what happens. 
So I have nine dollars into these total, um, but they were just too beautiful to leave. You know, it's, I mean, the detailing too, like the whiskers and the fur on the cat and just everything is so beautiful, especially like the one with the pe on the piano, I'm partial to because I'm, you know, you guys know I'm a musical person, so I think this is the first one that I saw, and I was like, oh, wow, that's really beautiful. But, um, and then, like, the blue of the cat's eyes, everything just works really well together, and they're, they're just stunning. Um, and they don't, none of them have any kind of damage or, um, chips or anything. They were made in England, and they are decorative, and yeah, they're just beautiful. So, yeah, I'll probably pop those up. I, I, I think I will pop those up on one listing together and list a little bit higher and see what happens. So yeah, so that was everything that I picked up. And then um, I wanted to go ahead and show you, give you some updates of some of the last pieces that we talked about in the previous video. So I will take you to that now. Okay, so in the last video, I had shown you these IKEA mugs, um, which were one of the first things that I picked up last time, and I had paid 50 cents a piece for those, so a dollar total, um, and those actually sold for $29. Um, the mugs that I had did have a, a couple of utensil marks. So I couldn't sell them as high as I had seen them going for on eBay because I think I think when I told you guys I think I said that they go for close closer to forty, but um, still twenty nine dollars uh, being sold from a, a dollar uh, into them is great. So, yep, those were good. And then the next item that was sold was very exciting. It was the Rosemead Cornware set. Um, there were seven pieces total. Remember they were in that uh, Mickey Mouse bag that I saw all together and I had paid three dollars total for all of the pieces. And that included the little tulip sugar and creamer that you see in this first picture along with all the other Cornware pieces. The salt, the salt and pepper shakers, the larger sugar and creamer. Um, so, yeah, so a guy reached out to me. I had these all listed se in separate listings, um, but a guy reached out to me and asked how much I would take for um, all of them. So I did give him a little bit of a discount, um, but I still so I was able to sell them all for $85. So, yeah, so for picking them all up for three dollars and then selling for 85 that is definitely a great profit um, so yeah so those are the two items that I have sold so far from the last haul and uh, I just wanted to share that with you and I'm gonna go ahead and be putting up the new um, items um, as I have time within the next couple of days. I've got some work I need to do in the house. I've got work. We're, we're in the middle of cleaning out our closet in the bedroom and pulling out some stuff that we no longer need. So I'll probably be listing some of that stuff as well. Um, but yeah, again, if you, if you want to reach out to me, if you're interested in anything that I've shown you, um, you know, feel free to do that. Otherwise everything is going to go up on eBay and, uh, We'll see how it goes. So I will talk to you guys again soon for the next haul. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.